Good evening and welcome to the class of 2021 Senior Awards Night. My name is Mary Andrad and I have the pleasure of being this year's scholarship advisor. Even though we cannot all be together in person tonight, I hope you and your family will sit back and enjoy this special presentation to celebrate. Oh, what a year it has been living through this pandemic, but I want you to know how truly proud I am of each and every one of you for not giving up, for working through the crazy college and scholarship application process and your continued determination to plan for your future success. I would like to begin by thanking all of the scholarship committees for supporting all of our San Benito High School seniors with their generous scholarships. These rewards will assist our students tremendously in their financial obligation toward their two or four year college and career path. I'm very proud to announce that tonight we will be rewarding 97 individual students for 98 scholarships. Some of these scholarships have multiple winners. In fact, 253 individual awards. This year, the total amount of scholarships awarded this evening comes to $260,625. This absolutely delights me, as this is the largest amount I have seen since being the scholarship coordinator. Thank you students, parents, and scholarship committee members for being here tonight in celebration of the class of 2021. I would now like to introduce our principal, Mr. Adrian Ramirez. Hello, San Benito High School families. Hola, familias de la Preparatoria San Benito. First of all, I'd like to express my gratitude and appreciation to Mrs. Mary Andrad for all the time and effort that went into coordinating our local scholarship program. To our community members representing local organizations and memorial scholarships, on behalf of all the San Benito High School staff members, thank you for your generosity. As we all know, the cost of pursuing an educational path beyond high school rises every year. And in light of this past year, your continued investment in our students will support them through one of the most significant barriers that any graduating class has had to face in recent history. Again, thank you. To our parents and guardians, congratulations. This is one of those moments that validates all that you've done in the past 18 or so years to support your son or daughter. A nuestros padres y tutores, felicidades. Este es uno de esos momentos que valida todo lo que han hecho en los últimos años para apoyar a su hijo o hija. And finally, to the class of 2021, I couldn't be prouder to be your principal. The class of 2021 has clearly been one of the most resilient graduating classes in the history of San Benito High School. You are a reflection of our school and our community. I cannot wait to find out where you all be in the next five to 10 years. Good evening, Baylors. I'm John Corrigan, the president of your school board. Congratulations on attaining a huge achievement in your life, graduating from high school and moving on to the next step. We couldn't be any prouder of you all, and we look forward to seeing all the accolades that will be bestowed on you tonight. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and we know that whatever it is, you will be Baylor strong and you will make a difference. Good evening to our students parents, guardians, and entire San Benito High School community. It is with great pride and appreciation that we honor the outstanding accomplishments of the senior class of 2021. I am so proud of our senior class and their ability to persevere and rise to the occasion despite the challenging circumstances we have all endured over the past year. It is simply remarkable and humbling to be a part of a school community that cares so deeply, supports without reservation, and truly embodies the Baylor Strong spirit. To the honorees this evening, you have demonstrated excellence in and out of the classroom while leading by example. Your resolve, resilience, and leadership while at San Benito High School have been nothing short of exemplary. On behalf of the entire school community, your accomplishments remind us all that the drive to succeed is alive and well at San Benito High School. Congratulations to all of our honorees. You are and will be forever Baylor strong. To our greater school community, your support, care, 
and generosity for our students is greatly appreciated. It is fortunate to have a community that provides our youth with unwavering support, love, and appreciation. It is because of you that we are reminded each and every day is a great day to be a Baylor. Thank you very much. On behalf of the class of 2021, I'd like to start by thanking all of the local, state, and national organizations for all of the generous and much appreciated gifts that they are giving us today. I know that the class of 2021 will put all of the scholarships and recognition to good use. I am so proud of you guys, and I just want to wish you all the best of luck and success in your future ventures, wherever that may be. Whether you're going to a JC, a four-year, trade school, the military, or straight into the workforce, I know that your hard work, resilience, and determination will get you through it. Each and every person that's here tonight has already worked so hard to earn these well-deserved awards, and I wish that we all could be together in the auditorium celebrating our shared success. And I know that COVID hasn't made it easy on any of us, but hey, we got this. If I know anything, it's that the class of 2021 can conquer any challenges thrown at us. Just a couple more weeks until graduation, and I can't wait to see all your faces then. Hello, my name is Deborah Armstrong, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at San Benito High School. I'm honored to acknowledge Adam Kalstrom as one of our top 10 students. Adam will be attending Cal Poly Pomona and majoring in animal sciences. Finishing vet school and beginning his career as a zoo veterinarian is his hope for the future. One of his most memorable accomplishments was receiving his first five on the AP European exam. Adam will miss living near his friends and seeing them often. Adam would like to say thank you to his supportive parents and family members, as well as his friends who always lift him up. He would also like to thank all of his amazing teachers that he has had here at San Mateo High School and in the past. He appreciates all the hard work that they do. Good evening. My name is Lori Chavez, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at San Mateo High School. I am honored tonight to announce one of our top 10 academic students at San Mateo High School. Ashley Majora will be attending Sweet Briar College in Virginia and majoring in engineering science. During her high school career, her greatest accomplishment has been maintaining high grades while being an athlete, earning her a position on the Fall All Academic Team. Ten years from now, she hopes to be a NASA engineer in helping create the rocket ships, shuttles, and rovers that will help expand our knowledge of the universe. She will truly miss her amazing teachers, coaches, and friends here at San Bino High School. She would like to thank her parents, sister, teachers, and coaches for pushing her to be the best self and encouraging her along the way. Congratulations, Ashley. Good evening, my name is Claire Grissom and I am one of the assistant principals here at San Benito High School. It is with great pleasure to announce Alexandra Ortiz as one of our top 10 students. Next fall, Alexandra will be attending San Jose State University and majoring in applied mathematics with statistics. 10 years from now, she sees herself graduated with a job, potentially as a data scientist and hoping she will be able to travel around Europe and continue to figure skate. Alexandra's most memorable accomplishment during high school was passing all of her AP exams because she had to balance the AP course workload with her competitive figure skating training. Alexandra would like to say thank you to all of her teachers for always helping her when she needed it and supporting her when she had to travel for figure skating competitions. Also, a special thank you to both of her parents who do everything in their power to help her achieve her dreams and always inspire her to do her best. Hi, I'm Ed Schmidt. I'm one of the assistant principals here at San Miguel High School, and it is a great honor for me to announce one of the top 10 students. Richard Keith will be attending the University of Santa Barbara and majoring in statistics. A very memorable accomplishment here at San Miguel High School was making the varsity basketball team after being cut the first two years of trying out. He will definitely miss being in the same classes and hanging out with his friends every day. In 10 years, he sees himself with a comfortable life where he doesn't have to worry about things that he previously had to care about. Richard would like to say a special thank you to Dr. Ruth who helped him grow as a person and made him enjoy school while making learning easy. Good evening, I'm Deborah Armstrong, one of the assistant principals here at San Benito High School. It is my honor to announce Caitlin Sotelo as one of our top 10 students. Caitlin will be attending UC Berkeley next fall 
majoring in nutritional sciences with a specialization in physiology and metabolism. Ten years from now, Caitlin hopes to be working in primary care, either as a medical doctor or a physician's assistant. Caitlin will always cherish her time at San Benito High School, and especially working with Miss Cody and the connection she established with all the student athletes. This opportunity made her realize medicine is more than just physical healing. It's the establishment of a mutual connection, trust, and empathy. Caitlin would like to thank her parents whose sacrifices and perseverances fueled her aspirations. Additionally, she would like to thank the community members like Mrs. Cody, Mr. Gonzalez, and Coach Burley, who Caitlin feels they all step outside their roles as faculty and staff and they truly care about their students. Hello, my name is Lori Chavez and I'm one of the assistant principals here at San Bruno High School. Tonight, I would like to acknowledge Sean Avalara as one of our top 10 students. Sean will be attending UC Davis and majoring in English next fall. One of his most memorable accomplishments during high school, of course, will be how the pandemic affected him. At first, he found himself disengaged from school and his upcoming AP test. But shortly after, he was able to turn his attitude around to pass all his classes with distinction and score a three or higher on his AP test. Sean will miss the small camp campus and closeness here at San Mino High School and his time working in the school cafeteria. Sean, in 10 years, sees himself as an editor, journalist, or technical writer working on novels, scripts, blogs, video games, and music. He would like to thank all of his dedicated and compassionate teachers who provided him with memories to last a lifetime. He would also like to thank Ms. Roybal, our school librarian, Ms. Martinez, his counselor, and so many more staff here at San Diego High School. He will never forget you. Congratulations, Sean. Hi, my name is Claire Grissom, and I am one of the assistant principals here at San Benito High School. Tonight, I would like to award Lauren Okamoto as one of our top 10 students. Lauren will be attending UC Berkeley to major in cognitive science with a potential minor in computer science. Lauren sees herself in 10 years as having a career in health informatics in order to improve accessibility, quality, and safety of patient care. One of her fondest memories here at San Benito High School was winning the individual league champion for her junior cross country season. She will miss running back and forth across the football field with her friends, cheering for her four by four team and stealing candy from Mr. Shorey's room where she was supposed to be in class. Lauren would like to thank her parents for believing in her more than she believed in herself and for being her biggest supporters in all areas of her life. It is with great pleasure and honor to announce the 2021 San Benito High School valedictorians. Like no other year, we happen to have three students that are tied for this prestigious title. Robin Johnson. I am pleased to announce that Robin Johnson will be attending Reed College in Portland, Oregon. Currently, her major is undeclared, but she is interested in psychology and civil engineering. She is definitely going to miss all of her friends and teachers here at San Benito High School. Her most memorable accomplishment while here is the fact that she was accepted to 10 of the 11 colleges that she applied to. She would like to thank her family for all their support. Robin would like to also thank her parents for always being there for her and supporting her all these years. Faith Fernandez. Next fall, Faith Fernandez will be joining Stanford University, majoring in symbolic systems with a minor in political science. Traveling the world and practicing law is her goal 10 years from now. She will miss her friends and teachers at San Miguel High School, although is very proud of founding the Baylor Community Service Program, which links our student body with local nonprofits in our community. Faith would like to thank all of her teachers, Mrs. Lemos, Mr. Ramirez, and Superintendent Dr. Tenenbaum for giving her the opportunity to forge her own path here at San Miguel High School. 
Jaya Waller. Jaya will be joining UC Berkeley campus where she will be majoring in architecture with a minor in structural engineering. In 10 years, she sees herself as a licensed architect and engineer focusing on sustainable design. Her most memorable accomplishment during high school was earning all A's, specifically in Mr. Moore's AP Euro class. She will miss so much about high school, especially her teachers, her friends, and the good times she had at Friday night football games, rallies, and dances. She would like to thank her parents and her brother for always supporting her in her endeavors, her teachers for always believing in her and encouraging her to grow, especially Mr. and Mrs. Dukes, the coaches who pushed her to be a better athlete, specifically Luke Lewis and Judge Schutz, and her friends that have stuck by her through it all. Hi Baylors, I'm Todd Thatcher, Athletic Director at San Diego High School. I'd like to congratulate all of tonight's scholarship and award winners. A special thank you to the class of 2021. You have endured two years like no other graduating class. Our class of 2021 scholar athletes are fine examples of great work ethic, resilience, and determination. Their will to pers persevere regardless of the circumstances is reflective of the class of 21 as a whole. I'm proud to announce the class of 2021 scholar athletes. Your excellence in the classroom as well in the sports is something to be very proud of. This award celebrates your seven semesters of academic excellence and four years of tremendous service to A. Baylor Athletics. I'm happy to announce our male scholar athlete for the class of 2021 is Mac Richards, representing cross country and track and field. Mac will attend BYU in the fall Congratulations, Mac, well done. Our female scholar athlete for the class of 2021 is Sophia Limos, representing cheer and track and field. Sophia will attend Chico State in the fall. Congratulations, Sophia, well done. Hi, my name is Amy Bailey, and today with my family, I'm presenting the Adam Baxter Memorial Scholarship on behalf of my brother, Adam, who passed away 16 years ago. Adam was a dedicated and hardworking athlete who especially excelled in wrestling. We chose this recipient based on her dedication to the sport of wrestling as well as her academic success. My family and I present the Adam Baxter Memorial Scholarship to Raven Badola. We wish her all the best in her future endeavors. Congratulations. Hi, Catherine. This is Ignacio Velasquez and Elizabeth Velasquez. And on behalf of American Electrical Services, we want to award you a scholarship of $1,000. We are so amazed with your community service and helping underprivileged kids. Keep up the good work. Take care. Congratulations. Hi, Eddie. It's Ignacio Velasquez and Elizabeth Velasquez. We want to award you a $1,000 scholarship. We are so amazed at all of your community service throughout the city of Hollister. Keep up the good work. Take Con care. Congratulations. Hi Kylie, this is Ignacio Velasquez and Elizabeth Velasquez. We want to award you a scholarship of $1,000. We are so impressed with all of your community service and good work. Keep up the good work. Take care. Hi Alec, it's Ignacio Velasquez and Elizabeth Velasquez. We are happy to award you a scholarship of $1,000. We are so impressed with all of your hours of community service. We are so amazed by you. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. Hi Faith, it's Ignacio Velasquez and Elizabeth Velasquez. We are happy to award you a scholarship of $5,000. We are so impressed with all that you've done. You're so amazing. We are so happy for you. Keep up the good work. Congratulations. Take care. The Ann Hart Memorial Scholarship honors a graduating San Benito High School senior girl who has a minimum 3.0 GPA or above and has been highly involved in community service and extracurricular activities and also planning to attend a four-year college. This year's award goes to Sydney Yamanishi. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Bill Sackow, San Benito County Educational Leaders President. My name is Shannon Hansen, San Benito County Educational Leaders Treasurer. 
and we're here today to recognize two students with the Association of California School Administrators Aspiring Educator Scholarship. And our first recipient is Catherine Sanchez. And our second recipient is Alyssa Monroy. Congratulations. Congratulations. We know this year has been very difficult and challenging for all students, so we just want to recognize your aspirations and desire to work hard through this year like no other, and we wish you the best of luck moving forward. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Andy Prisco, and I'm a counselor here at San Bernardino High School. Tonight, it is my pleasure to announce the winner of the Avid Brave and Bold Scholarship. This award goes to a student that will be traveling the furthest from Hollister to earn a four-year degree from a university. This year's recipient is Magali Del Rio. She will receive a $600 scholarship while attending Niagara University in New York as she pursues a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Magali. Hello, my name is Terry Escamilla. I am the secretary of the Baylor Band Boosters. Today, I'm here to announce our three recipients for our scholarships for 2021. Our first recipient is Juan Luis Abonce. Juan Luis will major in music education and performance, and after college, he plans to teach music. Our second recipient is Samantha Logue. Samantha plans to major in biology and become an emergency room physician upon graduation. Our third recipient is Christine Baladad. Christine plans to become a registered nurse. She will begin her studies at Gavilan College and transfer to a four-year university. We congratulate all of our winners and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you. Good evening. I would like to award the following students the Baylor Booster Scholar Athlete Scholarship. These students have all participated in San Benito High School sports and have been highly recommended by their Baylor coach. It is my honor to award Anthony McCurrio, Julia Hicks, Anton Borges, Sophia Limos, Joseph Dickerson, Olivia Madera, Miguel Sagoon, Kylie Corrigan, and Emily Drost. Congratulations, Baylors. Way to go. The Baylor Cheer Scholarship is awarded this year to a hardworking female that has been a Baylor cheerleader throughout her high school years. She has maintained a 3.0 or above GPA while cheering. Sophia Lemos will be attending California State University Chico next fall, and I wish her the best in her future endeavors. The Bertha Briggs Foundation Scholarship is pleased to announce this year's scholarship winners. These students are planning on attending a four-year university and maintain a, a minimum 3.5 GPA throughout their high school years. I'm happy to announce that Kathy Nguyen and Nathiele Guzman are this year's winners. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Mary Castellano, and I am pleased to present the Bob Castellano Memorial Scholarship. I established this memorial scholarship to honor my late husband who began his life in New Mexico. Traveled as a child up and down California, following the crops with his family and settled in Hollister at the age of seven. He attended San Benito High School, graduating in 1957 while also earning Athlete of the Year Award. He spent his life giving back to the community of Hollister, whether it was being a probation officer, teaching our youth in his classroom, volunteering at Fishes and Loaves, and tutoring at our county library or helping a friend. This scholarship honors a Hispanic student who has come from adversity and displays qualities that have led him or her to be successful at San Benito High School and shows a commitment to further his or her education and give back like my husband. I am happy to present this year's Bob Castellano Memorial Scholarship to Angelica Lara and Yvette Fragoso. Congratulations. The Brick Eric Golf Memorial Scholarship would like to award this year's scholarship to a San Benito High School student that participated in golf throughout her years of high school. Congratulations to Magali Del Rio. Tonight, I would like to present the Briones Collegiate Scholarship 
to a hardworking, deserving student that has exemplified leadership, community service, a 3.0 GPA or above, and planning on attending a four-year university. I am very proud to present the scholarship to Max Ramirez Resendez. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Colleen Myers, Principal at Sarah Vista. I am here tonight to announce the recipients of the Sarah Vista Alumni Scholarship Award. We had wonderful applicants that are all alumni from Sarah Vista, and we settled on three. It was a very difficult decision, and we want to appreciate everybody who applied. But we came up with three deserving candidates and would like to offer this scholarship to them. Those recipients are Alyssa Munroy, Angelica Lara, and Colby Robinson. Congratulations ladies and best wishes in your future endeavors. The Charlie Presser Memorial Scholarship is awarded to students that have taken vocational classes and are active in vocational skills. These scholarships are awarded to students planning on attending a trade or technical school. This year's awards are given to Clay Hubble and Alan Kenji Fajardo Rodriguez. Congratulations. The Charlotte Cabral Scholarship Fund was established to be awarded to an individual to help further their education in the field of business administration. Tonight I'm pleased to award this scholarship to two individuals. The first award goes to Anthony Mercurio, whose career objective is to work in corporate accounting. Anthony stated that he has always been interested in working with numbers and hopes to put his skills to good use working for a large corporation. The second award goes to Austin Salamita, whose career objective is to further his education in using administration skills to prepare himself to work in his family's business. He has already launched a new online business and is doing very well. Congratulations, Anthony and Austin. The Chase Zerbaugh Memorial Scholarship was founded by two of Chase's best friends. We want to first and foremost thank Javi Contreras and Eddie Barrios for making the scholarship possible. Sadly, we lost Chase to a suicide in May of 2020. Together, Javi and Eddie organized a 5K run in his memory and to raise awareness for suicide prevention. The initial run was confined to immediate family and close friends due to the COVID-19 pandemic which has challenged us all over the last year. As a result, the event was not publicly advertised. Rather, family and very close friends either chose to run together or did a virtual run on their own. This is what raised the funds that we are happy to donate to his memory. The intent is to do this event annually, this year included, hopefully May or June. So keep a lookout for the hashtag MCZ5K Memorial Run to keep Chase's memory alive and to raise even more funds for future scholarships going forward. We would like to express our gratitude to all the graduates who took time to share their stories applying for the scholarship. The experiences shared were touching and many brought tears to our eyes. As a family, we spent many hours reading and discussing all the entries. The loss of Chase a beloved husband, father, son, and brother has been quite traumatic. And you all have your own stories of loss as well. Your individual experiences may choose you one winner. Very difficult. As a result, we have decided to match the dollar amount of funds raised last year to award three scholarships in Chase's name. Choosing the winners was something we took very seriously as a family and it was not an easy decision. But it is with great honor and excitement that we present the very first Chase Zirabaugh Memorial Scholarships to Anton Borges, Anthony Mercurio, and Brittany Prieto. Congratulations and best of luck to you and the entire class of 2021. Hello, I'm Jerry Sepulveda and I represent the Class of 71 Scholarship Committee. I'm proud to announce and would like to congratulate this year's recipient, Max Ramirez Resendez. We had very strong applicants this year, but Max was a standout. He's been faced with challenges that would hold most people back, but Max used them as motivation and kept, kept the faith in himself. He was determined to get the most out of high school and work towards his goal to a higher education which he feels is the key to his future. 
In addition to putting in the time at school to achieve a very solid 3.84 GPA, he also works many hours with a family business. He is a focused individual that gets the most out of every day. Matt sets a good example as a student and as an individual that wants to go far in life. We feel that he deserves our support by awarding him our scholarship for $2,000 and hope it helps him on his way. We wish Max the best of luck and again, would like to congratulate him. Good job, Max, from the class of 71. The class of 1969 would like to congratulate our recipient of our vocational school scholarship of $2,500 to Colby Robinson. We wish you continued success to your vocational program of your choice. 28 retired classmates contributed to our vocational scholarship this year, and they are also very proud of you. Congratulations, Colby. Tonight, I would like to present the Community Service Development Corporation Scholarship to three well-deserving students that have exemplified involvement in extracurricular activity along with community service and are planning on attending a two or four year college, university, trade school, or technical school. Tonight's winners are Max Resendiz Ramirez, Alma Perez, and Magali Del Rio. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Hopkins, former baseball player and class of 2016 graduate. I'm here to announce the winners of the DA's Construction Baseball Scholarship. The winners are Austin Salamita, Michael McShane, and Tyler Kashawagi. Congratulations you guys and good luck. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Gloria. I'm Diane, agency owner of Diane DA's Hopkins Insurance. Thank you to everyone who took the time to apply to the DDA Scholarship. We are very inspired by all of your great ideas. Our award goes to McKenna Neff and Leah Cardenas. Much love from DDH Insurance. We wish you all the very best. Stay, Stay safe. Bye. Hi, I'm Boss Wampabacher from Wampabacher Anderson Orthodontics. Um, first of all, I want to say that I'm so proud of all the seniors in, in your high school just because this is such a challenging year and you all get extra credits for me. Uh, it, it's fantastic what you guys have been able to do under so much duress and this uh, speaks volumes to what you'll all be achieving in the future. Uh, as always, this year it was hard to pick a winner uh, for our scholarship, but after long deliberation, um, the person we chose was Angelica Lara. We're very touched by her story and we see a very bright future for her and we want to wish her all the best in her college endeavors. Thank you all so much and all the best to you. Congratulations, Bridget Murphy. You have received an incredible scholarship in honor of Ed Stevenson. My name is Gary Byrne, I'm with the Community Foundation. Ed was a founding board member of the Community Foundation many years ago. And like you, he has done many great things in our community. So you are the honoree this year, and we wish you all the best of luck for the next four years of college. Thank you very much. The Elwood Dryden Memorial Scholarship, California Mutual Insurance Company Scholarship, is given to a student that is planning on attending a two, four, your college, or a technical or trade school. This recipient must have maintained a minimum GPA of a 3.25 and be pursuing a degree in the field of hospitality, ag business, or other agricultural studies. This year's award goes to Taryn Wright. Congratulations, Taryn. Hello, I am Mara Perez, and I'm proud to present to you my late daughter, Franca Memorial Scholarship. This is so important to me because this scholarship is helping to keep my daughter's memory alive. Congratulations and for all your hard work. You deserve this award, and I know you will go on and do great things. Hello, my name is Loretta Avina, and I'm here tonight to present a scholarship in memory of my late sister. Franca was my youngest and only sister whom we tragically lost in 2006 to domestic violence. We award this scholarship to a student whose area of study will involve, in some way, working to bring education, awareness, and prevention to help end domestic violence or working directly or indirectly with victims of domestic violence, or a student who embodies some of the academic qualities and aspirations that were my sister. Needless to say, San Benito High School has many fine students, 
and many applied for the scholarship, which makes selecting the recipient a little bit difficult. Before I announce the recipient, I really would like to take a moment and thank all of our family, our friends, and members of our community who have and continue to support our humble fundraising events, which this year, well, this year and few months, have made us really stop and think outside of the box. But we've been pretty successful, and we've had all of you to thank. So from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for your continued support. It's now my great pleasure to announce that the recipient of the Franca Barsi Memorial Scholarship for 2021 in the amount of $500 will be awarded to Antonio Todd. We, Franca's family, wish Antonio our heartfelt best wishes and best of luck as he goes on to continue to fulfill his dreams and goals after high school by attending college, maybe grad school too. Whatever Antonio decides to do after college, he will shine bright. In the words of the great Eleanor Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Thank you everyone and good night. It is an honor to be presenting the Frank Hallahay Memorial Culinary Scholarship. Over 500,000 Americans have lost their lives to COVID-19 since the pandemic began. Frank tragically passed away from COVID-19 last December. Many of us knew Frank as the friendly, humorous, generous, and hardworking owner of Cozy Cup Cafe here in Hollister. Aside from being a successful business owner, loving husband and father, Frank was passionate about cooking. Over the years, many of our students here at San Benito High School worked for Frank and learned how to cook. His memory will live on as we award the first annual Frank Hallahay Memorial Culinary Scholarship to Jacob Dumont. Jacob will be awarded $1,500 to pursue his passion in the culinary arts, just like Frank did many years ago. Congratulations and best of luck to you, Jacob. The Frontline Scholarship is awarded to San Benito High School students who are pursuing a career in the medical field, law enforcement, or mental health related field. Your dedication to serving those most in need is commendable, and we want to support you in your journey. This year's recipients are Magali del Rio and Kathy Newen. Thank you for joining the front line. The Gavilan Kingship Scholarship awards scholarships to students that are pursuing a career in child development, early child education, or social work. I am very pleased to award Brittany Prieto, Alma Perez, Lexi Tamez, and Emily Drost. Congratulations. This year, we have five Eagle Scouts who are being awarded the George Wapple Frazier Eagle Scout Scholarship. These boys have been involved in the Boy Scouts for many years. A Scout has many varied experiences and adventures throughout their years in the program. Only 4% of these Scouts earn the Eagle Scout rank because it takes dedication and constant participation. Our Scouts are continually learning leadership skills and given many opportunities to practice and perfect those skills. Scouts gain confidence, self-sufficiency, learn good citizenship, and give service to others. We are very proud to award this year's winners, Eddie Escamilla, Alexander Iman, Anton Borges, Jackson Bloom, and Ramon Duran. Congratulations, gentlemen. Tonight, I would like to honor the following five students that have been awarded the Guerra Family Scholarship. All five of these are in memory of a Guerra family member. Daniela Contreras is awarded $1,000 for the Josephine Miller Memorial Scholarship. Clay Hubble is awarded $1,000 for the Carl Guerra Memorial Scholarship. Emily Drost is awarded $1,000 for the Luis Guerra Memorial Scholarship. Sophia Limos is awarded $1,000 for the Anthony Guerra Memorial Scholarship. And Emma Alfaro is awarded $1,000 for the Frank Guerra Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, all five of you. Hazel Hawkins Hospital Foundation awards scholarships to students seeking their education for a commitment to the medical profession. This year's recipients for the Hazel Hawkins Hospital Foundation for the Dorothy and Charlie Root Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Kylie Corrigan. The Hazel Hawkins Hospital Foundation Scholarship Physician Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Giovanna Huerta. 
The Hazel Hawkins Hospital Foundation Scholarship for $1,000 goes to Carriela Costa. The 750 Hazel Hawkins Hospital Foundation Scholarship goes to Samantha Logue, Colby Robinson, and Chantal Davis. Congratulations, ladies. It is an honor to present these scholarship awards tonight on behalf of the Hollister FFA Ag Boosters. We are so fortunate to have a very diverse and active FFA program here at San Benito High School with passionate and involved students who are helping to advocate for agriculture. Every year we are always impressed with the scholarship applications we receive from our FFA students and this year was no exception. Applicants are evaluated on various criteria including letters of recommendation, personal statement, involvement in both school and FFA activities, academic standing, essay and future goals related to a focus in agriculture. We know that all of these students have bright futures ahead of them and will accomplish amazing things. Perhaps some of them may eventually return to San Benito High School in the future as agriculture teachers. On behalf of the of the Hollister FFA Ag Boosters, we are honored to present the following scholarships. $1,000 for Taryn Wright, $750 for Michaela Payne, and $500 for Clay Hubble and Colby Robinson. Hello, my name is John Robrock, a former art teacher here at San Benito High School, and I'm here as a member of the Hollister Artist League to present Michaela Payne with our annual scholarship. Every year since 1963, we give out scholarships to students that uh, plan, on uh, plan on going into art in their future. And Michaela, of course, is big in photography and likes to draw on her sketchbook and such, so she sounded like a pretty good candidate. And so hopefully she does well when she goes out from high school and continues on with her future. So again, congratulations, Michaela, and thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Arnie Ferrer Berry, and I'm the membership chair for the Hollister Elementary School Teachers Association, or HESA for short. I'm so excited to be presenting awards to two Baylors tonight because in May of 1988, I was awarded the same scholarship at San Benito High. I didn't think I would ever be a teacher, yet 33 years later, here I am on behalf of the Local Teachers Association. Talk about coming full circle here, right? So tonight I am honored to present the first scholarship to a young lady who was involved in ASB and Student Congress, Link Crew and Interact. She also wrestled, played softball, was a member of the track and field team, and was a scholar athlete for four years. Along with her mom, Tracy, she volunteered with HESA last summer, delivering meals to seniors for the Great Plates program during the pandemic. She has worked at Togo's in Casa de Cruda while maintaining a 3.7 GPA. In the fall, this Baylor plans on attending the University of Hawaii at Manoa to major in environmental studies. Raven Bedoya, congratulations. The second HESA scholarship goes to another young lady who was involved in ASB and Student Congress, Circle of Friends, Interact, Rally Club, and Link Crew all four years, a scholar athlete in varsity softball and basketball, as well as a captain for both teams. She has volunteered for Kids in the Park, the Red Ribbon Race, and Mission 10 Race. Before COVID, I had the pleasure of driving her, her sister, and my son to deliver meals to the homeless in our community for the Marley Holty Thanksgiving luncheon for two years. Last summer, she joined HESA in delivering meals to seniors for the Great Plates program with her younger brother and her mom, Erica. This Baylor plans on playing softball and basketball at Monterey Peninsula College in the fall. Kaya Dickens, congratulations. Now on behalf of HESA, I would like to congratulate the rest of the class of 2021. May you have the courage to follow your heart for it knows the way. Namaste. The Qantas Club of Hollister is pleased to present the second annual Clayton Lee Memorial Scholarship to an outstanding graduate who has not only excelled in scholarship, but also demonstrated selfless community service 
and concern for others. Our scholarship is named in honor of Clay Lee, a longtime Qantas member and past president of our club, who also displayed his commitment to serving through his leadership of the City Recreation Department and Administrative Services, as well as numerous volunteer activities. I'm Jim Hart, and as club president and 30 years advisor to the San Benito High School Key Club, I'm proud to award our scholarship to a deserving four-year member and most recently vice president of the Key Club, Giovanna Huerta. Giovanna has been a dedicated and valued leader, contributing immensely to the success of a club that overcame the challenges, frustrations, and restrictions of the pandemic to achieve more than anyone could have expected. Giovanna has volunteered at the local hospital and hopes to have a career in the medical field. I'm sure that she has the potential to achieve all her goals. The Hollister Kiwanis wishes her well in the future and hopes that this scholarship will help her to achieve her dreams. Thank you for all of your service and congratulations, Giovanna. Hello, my name is Gene Hopp. I'm the president of the Hollister Rotary Club. It is my honor to announce the 2021 Hollister Rotary Student Scholarships awarded to 10 students from San Benito High School. This year's scholarship recipients are truly an amazing group of well-rounded young men and women. They will be an asset to any college they choose to attend. Here is a list of scholarships and the student awards. $3,000 Charlie Tiffany Athletic Scholarship is awarded to Anthony Mercurio. Anthony Mercurio will be attending Boise State University pursuing a business accounting degree. $5,000 Jim Fosdick Memorial Scholarship. This is a one-time scholarship in memory of our 2020 president, whom we sadly lost on April 17, 2021. This scholarship is awarded to Anton Borges, may attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo or the Air Force Academy pursuing aeronautical engineering. $3,000 Del Laveroni scholarship has been awarded to Dene Rivera. Dene Rivera has been accepted to the universities of Oregon, Hawaii, Arizona State, Cal State Sacramento, and Cal State Monterey Bay. She hopes to become an English teacher or a guidance counselor. The $3,000 Peter Gong Scholarship is awarded to Edward Schmidt. Edward Schmidt will be attending UC Santa Barbara, majoring in history. He aspires to be a history teacher or a history consultant. The $5,000 Hollister President's Scholarship is awarded to Faith Fernandez. Faith Fernandez will be attending Stanford University. She will pursue a law degree. The $3,000 Marilyn Ferreira Girls Athletic Scholarship is awarded to Julia Hicks. Julia Hicks will be attending Boise State University pursuing a journalism, law, or news media career. The $5,000 Mari Davis Memorial Scholarship goes to Caitlin Sotelo. Caitlin Sotelo has indicated UC Berkeley as her school choice, pursuing nutrition science as her goal. $3,000 Greg Hearn Scholarship is awarded to Olivia Modera. Olivia Modera has chosen Cal Lutheran University studying journalism or the news media. $3,000 Dave Ditto Academic Scholarship goes to Samantha Logue. Samantha Logue will attend Grover City College in Pennsylvania with a goal of becoming an ER physician. She will be playing water polo for the school athletic team. $3,000 Elliot Swank Agricultural Scholarship is awarded to Sophia Limos. Sophia Limos has indicated Chico State University as her school and a business degree as her goal. Hollister Rotary Club wishes each of these outstanding students the best success in their college careers. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you. The Veterans of Foreign War post-9242 is very proud to present 10 scholarships to our San Benito High School seniors this year. 
Each will receive $1,000. Congratulations to the following students. Eric Spandry, Anton Borges, Alexandra Ortiz, Ethan McMullen, Raven Badola, Dylan McMullen, Taylor Villapando, Ashlyn Barnes, Ramon Duran, and Samantha Logue. Tonight, I would like to present the Hope for a Cure Memorial Educational Scholarship. This scholarship is very special to me. It is in memory of three wonderful ladies that all impacted my life. Julie Ann Rowe O'Connor, Karen Flaherty, and Rose Arnerich, who was my mom. All three of these lovely ladies passed from breast cancer, and since then, this scholarship was established to award students that have lost a parent, grandparent, or guardian to cancer. I am pleased to award the following students tonight. Chantal Davis, in honor of her grandmother, Fanny Figueroa. Miguel Sagoon, in honor of his grandfather, Miguel Sagoon. Ramon Duran, in honor of his grandmother, Catalina Duran. Kylie Corrigan, in honor of her grandfather, John Corrigan. And Samantha Logue, in honor of her grandmother, Edna Logue. Congratulations, students, and I wish you all the success in your future endeavors. I would like to present the Jane Jenrit Biken Memorial Scholarship tonight to four well-deserving students that will continue their four-year education at a university. Congratulations to Asenit Diaz Valdez, Gabriela Arevalo, Emily Hernandez, and Trivia Rocco. Congratulations. The James Ricciardelli Memorial Quality Scholarship awards students in California for their service to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. This year's $6,000 scholarship goes to Ashlyn Barnes. Congratulations, and I wish you the best of luck in your future. On behalf of the Gillespie family, I am pleased to announce Ashley Majora as the first recipient of the Jean Gillespie Memorial Scholarship for Athletes in the amount of $500. On behalf of their family, Jean was appreciative of her husband's love for sports and enjoyed going to the San Francisco Giants baseball games. Jean was known for her feistiness and had a drive to accomplish her goals in every aspect of her life. Ashley, we believe you have the same drive to succeed in collegiate sports, college, and the future. Congratulations on receiving this award and good luck with your upcoming field hockey and lacrosse Sweet Briar College teams. And of course, your studies. On behalf of the Gillespie family, I am pleased to announce that Anthony Mercurio as the first time recipient of the Jean Gillespie Memorial Scholarship for business in the amount of $500. Jean's business career carried her from the freelance to the office of San Benito Agricultural Commissioner. Jean had a mind for numbers and business concepts. Anthony, we believe you have the same love for numbers and a willingness to share your problem-solving strengths with others. Congratulations on receiving this award and good luck in all of your college endeavors. On behalf of the Kalepsby family, I'm pleased to announce the Carlea, Acosta, and Magdalene Del Rio as the first time recipients of the Jean Kalepsby Memorial Scholarship for Nursing in the amount of $500 each. Even though Jean herself was not a nurse, she dedicated her time to volunteer at Hazel Hopkins Hospital. The Gillespie's have many family members who are nurses and understand the dedication and time it takes to accomplish a degree in nursing. Carlea, it is clear that you have a love for the medical field. You, we know your drive will carry you through each step needed to accomplish your goal of being a registered nurse. Congratulations on receiving this award and good luck at CSU Channel Islands. Magdalene, we are amazed at your drive to accomplish a higher education and your ability to set goals throughout life's distractions. We know you will succeed at anything you set your mind on. Congratulations on receiving this award and good luck at Niagara University. 
I would like to present the Jeff Schmidt Memorial Scholarship to the following hardworking, deserving students. Congratulations to Kathy Nguyen and Destiny Guillen. I am here tonight on behalf of the Al and Deborah Conti family. This year's Jeffrey Craig Conti Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Tina, Tina Javed. Tina, thank you for being our future. Thank you for the years of effort that has gotten you to where you are right now. And thank you for your commitment and dedication to becoming all that you can be. It is an honor and a privilege to award Tina a $500 scholarship in memory of their beloved son, Jeffrey Craig Conti, who passed away in 2002 from a horrible car crash. Wishing you much, much success and happiness as you follow your dreams. P.S. Don't forget to call home often. The Jesus and Josephine Quintero Memorial Scholarship Committee would like to award Catherine Sanchez for her hard work and dedication. Congratulations, Catherine. The John L. and Jean M. Barrett Scholarship Fund was established to be awarded to an individual to help further their education in the field of industrial arts, including architectural engineering. Tonight, we are pleased to award two deserving individuals. The first award goes to Clay Hubble, whose career objective is to become a certified welder. Mr. Barrett has known Clay since his early childhood and has seen him mature into the person he is today and is so very proud of him. The second award goes to Tyler Kashiwagi, who desires to be a civil engineer or possibly start his own construction company. Tyler has proven he can overcome life's difficulties by working hard to achieve his goal of striving to become the starting catcher on his baseball team. Congratulations, Clay and Tyler. Good evening, San Benito High School. It's an honor to be part of the 2021 Student Scholarships and Awards Night. My name is John Schilling, and I'm here to present the second annual John M. Schilling Memorial Scholarship. Part of the criteria for this memorial scholarship is the applicant's participation in the Circle of Friends Club. Circle of Friends is one of the most important, impactful, and touching programs on the San Benito High School campus because it crosses all abilities and ethnicities. It promotes empathy, and appreciation and understanding for all students. The scholarship committee has selected two recipients this year to receive the John M. Schilling Memorial Scholarship Award. The winners are Anton Borges and Thomas Breen. Congratulations to you both and to all the students who applied for the award this year. Thank you, San Benito High School and Circle of Friends for the support you provide for all students. Thank you very much and have a great night. Hello Baylors, it is my honor to be able to present to you the Julian Flores Memorial Scholarship. Uh, the two recipients receiving this award have shown uh, a commitment to bettering their community. They have proven that they believe in the success of others is just as important as their own success. And they have high expectations of themselves moving forward all characteristics of Coach Julian Flores. The 2021 Julian Flores Memorial Scholarship Award winners are Michael McShane and Caitlin Satella. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello and good evening. My name is Manny Freitas, and I'm here on behalf of the Cali Freitas Memorial Scholarship to award our 2021 recipient. Before I do that, I just want to congratulate the entire class of 2021 here at San Benito High School. I'd also like to personally thank each and every student who took the time to apply for our scholarship. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to our family, so thank you. Back in 2010, my first wife, Kelly Alvarez Freitas, um, had a battle with, with breast cancer and unfortunately she lost that battle. Um, after she passed away, we decided what better way to honor her legacy and her name than per to provide a scholarship here at San Manuto High School. So that's exactly what we did. Uh, in the last 10 years, uh, we've been able to grow our scholarship fund enough to where now we're able to award a scholarship each and every year. Since 2014, we've been able to give out five four-year scholarships. Tonight will be our sixth. Each and every year, we get some amazing applicants who apply for our scholarship, and this year was no different. We had some, 
some great students. Um, unfortunately, we can only choose one. This year, we had one student in particular who seemed to, to check each one of the boxes that we look for when we're, when we're handing out our scholarship. Uh, this particular student um, has had her share of challenges. Um, she's looking to give back to the community after she graduates from college. And she's very well deserving, just like all of you. Um, so with that said, I'd like to announce our 2021 recipient is Emily Drost. So Emily, way to go, congratulations, and we look forward to what the future holds for you. And to the rest of the 2021 class, best of luck, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, and have a good night. Congratulations to the class of 2021 from a graduate from the class of 1967 here at good old San Benito High School. My name is Kathy Fellman. My son, Kenny, was a varsity wrestler his freshman year. He wrestled in the 100-pound category, and at the end of the season, he placed third in the league. That summer, a Jeep accident took his life. He and his friends were coming back from the ag barn after having dropped off pigs they were gonna raise for FFA. Accidents can happen in the blink of an eye. Your whole life can be shattered or ended. And I don't mean to put a damper on this wonderful awards assembly, but please just be careful. And then if I could offer three things that you could do, your life would be so wonderful and complete. And I would say, treasure each and every day, live life to the fullest, and be the very best that you can be. On behalf of my family and in loving memory of my oldest son, I'm proud and honored to present the Kenny Fellman Memorial Scholarship to Kimberly Archuleta. Congratulations, Kimberly. You've already done so much with your life and I'm so proud of you. And just remember, you can do and be anything you set your mind to. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Vanessa Clower. And I'm Carson Clower. And we're here tonight to announce the winners of the Clower Family Young Leaders Scholarship. And the winners are? The winners are Faith Fernandez, Caitlin Sotelo, and Julia Hicks. Congratulations and best of luck after graduation. I am here tonight to present the Ladelaine Elementary School Alumni Scholarship. I am pleased to award Ethan McMullen and Dylan McMullen as this year's scholarship recipients. Congratulations, Ethan and Dylan. Good evening. I have the pleasure tonight of presenting the Latino Generations Scholarship to seven deserving students. The Latino Generation Endowment appreciates the past and looks forward to cultivating the future. These students are the future. Congratulations to Anton Borges, Daniela Contreras, Carla Gonzalez, Angelica Lara, Carla Lanusa, Camila Aguilar Hernandez, and Nayeli Guzman Lopez. Hello, Harley. Coach uh, Dave Clapham and I uh, are always pleased to award the Lauren Marie Scholarship to athletes, and we have certainly found one uh, of one in you. Uh, you were into roping and rodeo as a little tyke, and blessed with parents who were also athletically inclined and you've won awards in volleyball and basketball and uh, now uh, in addition you're teaching courses uh, uh, taking courses online and uh, you're working of all things at uh, 25 to 30 hours at uh, java express where they also must be very proud of you and uh, so in, in honor of uh, Lauren, who was uh, 
uh, Dave's wife, and she was an athlete. She was a softball pitcher in high school, and uh, also a teacher at uh, Gavilon. And uh, we uh, are so uh, so pleased and impressed with all of your activities and your energy. And congratulations! And please use the fellowship, but we know you will. Uh, to good effect to further your career. Thank you, Harley. The Lily Morales Scholarship honors a student that is planning to attend a college or university to major in education and become a teacher. I am very pleased tonight to award this year's scholarship to Danae Rivera. My name is Tiffany Cotter, and I'm here today to award four San Benito High School students with a Live Like Gino scholarship. Tragically, Gino was taken from us, but his legacy lives on through his community and countless youth he has affected. People were naturally drawn to Gino for so many different reasons. He had a particular way of picking everyone around him up, making them feel better, regardless of how they looked, their belief system, or what crowd they ran with. By never compromising his zest for life, Gene inspired others to be their most authentic self and always encouraged healthy competition and lifestyle. Gino's positive impact will forever live on. Living like Gino is striving each day to be the best possible version of oneself. And this year, we are happy to award the Live Like Gino Scholarship to Giovanna Huerta, Avon Melching, Nicole Miller, and Ed Smith. Thank you. Good evening. This year's scholarship for the Luso American Education Foundation Scholarship is awarded to Ashlyn Barnes. Congratulations, Ashlyn. Hello, my name is Garrett Schlesinger. This scholarship is in memory of my mother, Marilyn Schlesinger. She was an artist from an early age with drawing and painting, and she had a lifelong passion for crafts like quilting, knitting, and needlepoint. I was also into art from a young age, including graphics, drawing, and ceramics, but also writing, photography, shop classes, theater, you name it. My mother raised three kids while working and both of our parents encouraged our creativity, including my desire to get a degree in graphic design. Since then, I've had the good fortune to be in the creative business for nearly 40 years now. And for the last 20, I have had my own creative agency. There are many jobs in the creative business and like my mother before me, I encourage young people to pursue the creative arts as a career. So we created this scholarship in her honor to help aspiring students attend college. It is my pleasure to award this scholarship in the amount of $750 each to Michaela Payne and Ethan McMullen. Both of you have varied interests that include the creative arts. Wherever your life and career take you, you can bring creativity into everything you do. Keep the creative light within you and whether you do it for a living or for yourself, may you always enjoy making art. Good luck. Hi, my name is Cindy Shelato, and I'm speaking today on behalf of the Shelato family to share with you the recipient of the Marilyn L. Shelato Scholarship. Marilyn was my mom. She had a long career as an elementary school teacher in the Hollister School District and worked with hundreds of kids through the course of her career. And in that way, she had a big influence on this community. She passed away seven years ago, but we hope that through the scholarship, her legacy will continue. As a world, today we face a number of existential threats that include climate change and biodiversity loss, as well as ongoing social injustices and racial inequity. We need a world where children can learn to work together and address these challenges in a way that makes life on this planet more sustainable and more equitable. This means we need teachers who are dedicated to kids and this community who are dedicated toward helping people learn to work together to come up with creative solutions to some of our most challenging problems. We were very impressed by all of this year's applicants and it was a really difficult decision, but we have decided to present the award to Catherine Sanchez. Catherine, we are very impressed by your perseverance, your resilience, your determination, not to mention your record of accomplishments in school. And while we've never met, we believe in you and we feel certain that you will achieve whatever you set out to do. We are so happy that we can support you and excited for the future that you are working to build for yourself and for your family, 
for your community and for all of us. So please keep in touch and let us know how you're doing and I hope that we can meet someday. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Jerry and Esther with the Martha Metzger Fine Arts Scholarship Committee. Our scholarship is named after a woman that was very talented in music and photography. We are very proud to award the scholarship to Juan Luis Abonse, and Martha would be very proud to know that she is helping with your future. Congratulations, Juan Luis. Hello, my name is Victor Gomez, former mayor and city council member for the city of Hollister. I'm here to announce the recipients of the Marty Richmond Memorial Scholarship. But before I do, I want to thank former Hollister City Council members, Mickey Luna and Carol Lenore for jointly participating in our selection committee. Marty Richmond was born in Brooklyn, New York. He joined the Air Force and then transitioned to the Army from which he retired in 1984. Marty loved this community and he spent many hours researching and writing about our city. He had a passion for freedom of speech and his community. He was known for protecting the First Amendment and often reminded residents of this being the foundation for many of America's most cherished values. Marty encouraged young people to remain in school and supported organizations such as San Benito County LULAC in assuring education opportunities were diverse and equal. Marty was elected to the Hollister City Council in 2018 and contributed to the betterment of this city and its residents with the important message of becoming involved with decision-making, something Marty did extremely well. Marty honored us as a tireless fighter, a person of honor, a champion for the people, and we miss him dearly. With that said, here are the recipients of the Marty Richmond Scholarship. First, Magali Del Rio, who will be attending Niagara University. Congratulations. Angelina Lara, who will be attending San Jose State University. Congratulations. Carrela Acosta, who will be attending CSU Channel Islands. And Daniela Contreras, who will be attending UC Merced. Congratulations to our recipients, and we wish you the best of luck in your future college education. Marty would be extremely proud of all of you. Thank you. Tonight I am honored to present the Melinda Hayworth Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Hayworth family. Melinda was a dear friend of mine here at San Benito High School where we played basketball together before she was in a fatal car accident. Melinda was a fun, outgoing individual that had a contagious laugh and a drive for life. This year, the Melinda Hayworth Memorial Scholarship is awarding three deserving recipients for this scholarship. All three of these recipients have demonstrated academic excellence and success on the basketball court for two or more seasons. The Melinda Hayworth Memorial Scholarship is being presented tonight to Thomas Breen, Caitlin Sotelo, and Chase Freeman. Congratulations. The Mike and Marie Para Memorial Scholarship was established to be awarded to an individual to help further their education in the field of agriculture. Tonight, I am pleased to award Taryn Wright, whose career objective is to remain involved in the livestock industry. This is something she has been involved with since an early age by showing quality livestock at local fairs. Congratulations, Taryn. Mike and Marie would have been proud of your accomplishments. Tonight, I am speaking on behalf of Michelle Vandemark. I am so honored to present this year's scholarship winner. Nathan was tragically taken from us much too soon. As we struggle with living our lives without him, we wanted to search for a way to keep his memory alive. We thought about what meant the most to him and how he would want to be remembered. His family and friends were what he treasured most in life. Although he truly had an extended family here at San Benito High School, he never failed to tell us how awesome his teachers and counselors and all the staff were. Nathan truly loved every day here at San Benito High School, and especially the friendships he had with the special education students. Even after he graduated from San Benito, he would make it a priority to come visit during lunch just to spend time with these students. What warms my heart the most is remembering what Nathan told me the last time I dropped him off to have lunch with his buddies. You know, Mom, 
those kids teach and show me way more than I will ever be able to teach and show them. Nathan had such a big smile, an infectious laugh, and a big hug for all and his larger-than-life personality. Please live life as happy and carefree as Nathan did all his 17 years. Be involved and interested in all that you do. Treasure your family and friends. Greet those you love with a big smile and a hug, and know that your family and friends will always be by your side for many years to come. Tonight, in honor of Nathan, I present the award to Emily Drost. Congratulations, Emily. Hey, congratulations, class of 2021. Our hearts are with you this year. My name is Mary Louise Kennedy. I am a proud Baylor graduate, class of 1967. It is my honor and pleasure to present the PEO scholarship to a young lady who has such vitality and is a radiant light to all who surround her. She has devoted herself to many activities and organizations, most notably, in addition to being a captain of the field hockey team, she was on the men's lacrosse team where she was captain her sophomore year. Wow, that's grit. One of her best character traits is her kindness and compassion as she tries to help everyone to become the best that they can be, whether it be in the classroom, as a volunteer, on the hockey field, as a team captain, on campus, as a student leader. Her lifelong dream is to become a NASA engineer. Surely she will accomplish that. And I know that she will make the world a better place. Congratulations, Ashley Majora. The PJ Galvin Scholarship in memory of her uncle PJ goes to JL Waller. Congratulations. The Ralph P. Binkley Against All Odds Memorial Scholarship winner is selected by the Counseling and Student Support Services staff. They have unanimously chosen Trivia Rocco as this year's recipient. Congratulations. We are proud of all your accomplishments. Mr. Raul Acosta had a love and passion for music from early childhood. He began playing the piano at the age of five. He later learned how to play the trumpet, the French horn, and the xylophone. He also sang and was part of many different types of bands, from a big band and Dixieland band to E. Clampus Vitus. As a freshman at San Bernardino High School, he beat out a senior for first chair of the trumpet section. He was always very proud to be a Baylor and a member of the high school band all four years of being in high school. Some of Mr. Acosta's favorite sayings were, keep a song in your heart and your days will be filled with joy. And for every emotion there is a song. He would always say that the sky was the limit as far as whatever you wanted to pursue in life. As you embark on the next chapter of your life, may your love of music today remain with you always. Remember that the sky is the limit as far as what you would pursue in life, and may you always be passionate about those pursuits. We are very proud of, to continue Mr. Acosta's memory through this scholarship fund and know that he would be proud of you, Juan Luis Abonce. Once a Baylor, always a Baylor. Congratulations, Juan Luis. Good evening. Tonight I would like to present the Red Eagle Chiropractic Need for Science Scholarship to three outstanding students that are planning on enrolling in a two or four year college or university to pursue a degree in a science major. Congratulations to Andrew Miranda, Kim Archuleta, and Kylie Corrigan. Congratulations. The Ronald A. Rodriguez Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Ron Rodriguez. Ron attended San Benito High School where he enjoyed wood shop, metal shop, and his passion for being an FFA officer. Ron then graduated from Cal Poly with a degree in of animal science. Throughout his life, he was a cattle rancher, manager of State of California Employment Department, and farmed apricots and walnuts. Ron was a devoted man and absolutely loved San Benito High School and San Benito County for all it stood for. The land, the agriculture, the people, 
He believed in the future, so therefore the family began this scholarship in his memory and would like to congratulate the following students and their bright futures ahead. Stephanie Gonzalez and Colby Robinson. The San Benito County Farm Bureau has been in our community for almost 100 years. It is our mission to preserve and promote agriculture in San Benito County through education, leadership, and service. We are excited and honored to announce this year's scholarship recipients, Taryn Wright and Paul Yamoka. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Carly Jo Brigantino, president of the San Benito County Association of Realtors. I'm here with some of our committee members, Beth Carbone and Carrie Grimsley. We are super excited to award Julia Hicks a $1,500 scholarship. Woo, it's so well deserved. We had a great time getting to know you and we're just very excited for you and good luck in Boise. Woo! We are very excited to offer a scholarship to Adam Bonnet for $1,000. Good luck in your future endeavors in Arizona, and we wish you the best of luck and are extremely proud of you. Woo! Woo nice job! Good evening. Tonight I would like to present the San Benito County Cattlemen's Association Scholarship. It is with great pleasure and honor that I award this year's scholarship to Taryn Wright for $1,000 and Clay Roberts for $500. Congratulations and I wish you the best in your future. Hi, my name is Allison Renz Clark and I'm here representing the San Benito County Cattlewomen, a group dedicated to promoting the beef industry through education and social activities. On behalf of the Cattlewomen and our scholarship committee, I am honored to present scholarships to three exceptional and well-deserving students. So please join me in congratulating Taryn Wright, Jaya Walker, and Clay Hubble as the 2021 San Benito County Cattlewomen Scholarship recipients. Good evening. I would like to award the San Benito County Chamber of Commerce Foundation Scholarship in recognition of excellence in her academic endeavors and her community involvement. Congratulations to Ashlyn Barnes. I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Hello, my name is Carla Torres de Luna and I'm pleased and honored to present this year's 2021 LULAC scholarship recipients. LULAC has been granting scholarships since 1988 in the total amount of $170,000 to date. And this year's recipients are the following. Magali Del Rio for $1,000. Carla Gonzalez for $1,000. Anton Borges for $300 and Leslie Perez for $300. Congratulations, felicidades to all of our San Benito High School seniors. Good evening, I am Shirley Murphy with the San Benito Stage Company. It is my pleasure to announce the recipient of this year's San Benito Stage Company Alumni Scholarship, Ashlyn Barnes. This is a $500 scholarship awarded to a student who is a resident of San Benito County with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above, and who has participated in at least one stage company production during high school. Well, Ashlyn began her involvement with the stage company at the age of nine as a member of the cast of Big River and has acted in 19 stage company productions since then. Not only did she distinguish herself on stage, Ashlyn explored all aspects of theater, being on technical crews and five shows, and helping with volunteer work and fundraising efforts for the stage company. Ashlyn's talent, as well as her kindness and positive attitudes, have been valuable assets to every show she's been in. She pays it forward by encouraging fellow cast members and serving as a theater camp counselor, inspiring younger actors to follow in her footsteps. Since the beginning, Ashlyn knew she wanted to be an actress for the rest of her life. 
She will be following that dream by pursuing a theater degree at Cal State Los Angeles in the fall. San Benito Stage Company is so proud of Ashlyn and her many accomplishments and wishes her all the best as she follows her dreams. Congratulations, Ashlyn Barnes. Good evening, I'm Shirley Murphy with the San Benito Stage Company. It is my pleasure to announce this year's recipient of the San Benito Stage Company's Dave King Memorial Scholarship, Bridget Murphy. This is a $500 scholarship in memory of Dave King, who is an actor with the Stage Company in its early days. It is awarded to a student who is a resident of San Benito County with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above who has participated in at least one stage company production during high school. Bridget began her involvement with the stage company at the age of 10 as a member of the cast of Anne of Green Gables and has been in nine shows since then. Not only did she enjoy being on stage herself, Bridget was on technical crews in six shows and was a choreographer in two children's shows and summer theater camp. Bridget credits her mentors with the stage company for helping her find her voice in leadership roles and has found it incredibly rewarding to watch some of the shy reserved kids in their first children's shows quickly blossom into performers who were eager to show off new dance techniques she helped them master during rehearsals. Bridget will be pursuing a degree in chemistry at UC Santa Barbara in the fall. San Benito Stage Company is so proud of Bridget and her many accomplishments and wishes her all the best as she follows her dreams. Congratulations, Bridget Murphy. Buenas tardes, I'm Idma Cabrera Albright. I am a resource specialist at San Benito High School and I will be presenting my family Si Se Puede Scholarship. Um, the Si Se Puede Scholarship is given in memory of our parents, Celia and Roberto Cabrera. It is given by my brothers Robert, William, George, Gabriel, my sister Leonor, and me. And it's in my parents, our parents' hardworking spirit that I am proud to award the Cisa Puede this year to Carla Gonzalez. Congratulations, Carla. Good evening. I am here tonight to present the Sociedad Española de San Benito Scholarship to a hardworking, deserving student. This student is planning to attend Cal State LA and major in theater. She is proud of her Spanish American descent and we are honored to award Ashlyn Barnes. Congratulations. The mission of South County Cal Soap is to create educated communities, one underrepresented student at a time. It is our sincerest hope that these scholarships will decrease the amount of loan debt the deserving recipients might otherwise accrue while continuing their education. It is our privilege in front of their peers, teachers, and families to recognize the following students for their hard work, for prioritizing their education, and for advocating college and career opportunities by taking advantage of our pre-college program services. Please join me in celebrating the success of the following students. Gaby Acevedo Gonzalez, Kaylin Arredondo, Montserrat Carpio Navarro, Alejandro Cosio Arellano, Magali del Rio, Nat Natieli Guzman Lopez, Nayeli Martinez, Alma Perez, Leslie Perez, Max Ramirez Resendiz, Alejandro Rangel, Denei Rivera, and Sergio Rodriguez. Good evening. This year we had an amazing group of young people apply for the Southside School Scholarship. As one of the seventh and eighth grade teachers at Southside, I was blessed to have each of them in my class for two years. When preparing the speech, I asked teachers to select a word that described our recipient. The words I received perfectly described the student. Determined, motivated, thoughtful, tenacious, driven, persistent, goal-oriented, and enthusiastic. These were just some of the many adjectives I was given. This student is all of these and more. That is why it is my pleasure this year to award the Southside School Scholarship to Sydney Yamanishi. Congratulations. Hi class of 2021, my name is Andrea Bejinas and I am the PTO president for Spring Grove School. We're a group of dedicated parents, guardians, and teachers that work together to provide the best and rich education possible for our children. Our mission and goal is to foster a closer relationship 
between our students, teachers, staff, and our school community. The PTO is always determined to help our students even after they leave our school. One way of doing this is by offering scholarships to graduating high school seniors who have also graduated eighth grade from Spring Grove. This year, we are very, very fortunate to have two $1,000 scholarships as well as many others. In fact, we are very excited to say that we were able to award all 11 of our past Tigers who applied for this scholarship. We are so proud of you. Congratulations to Jaya Waller, Carolyn Acosta, Adam Bonnet, Ashlyn Barnes, Anthony Mercurio, Anton Borges, Lara Taylor, Jacqueline Semeca, Taryn Wright, McKenna Neff, and Brittany Prieto. Spring Grove PTO wishes you continued success throughout your college career and beyond. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Tomasini and this is Mrs. Nemi and we are teachers at Spring Grove School. We are so excited to be here virtually with you all because we are going to be announcing the winners of the Spring Grove Teachers Award Scholarships. If you are a Spring Grove Tiger, you know what a special place it is to grow and learn. And we were so touched by everyone's essays. Um, they were also thoughtfully written. And if you did mention a teacher in any of your essays, we made them a copy to let them know what an impact they had on you. You've all made us so proud as teachers. We are proud of all of you seniors that are watching. Not only have you made it through a pandemic, but you put in the extra effort to even do your scholarships. It's not easy. We both have kids who have gone through this process. So keep up the good work. Yes. So the winners for the Spring Grove Teachers Award Scholarship are... Laura Taylor. Taryn Wright. McKenna Neff. Jaya Waller. Jackie Smecka, Coralia Acosta, right. Ashlyn <laughs> Barnes, and Anton Borges. Congratulations, guys. All your teachers are so proud of you, and we wish you the best at your new schools. And remember, wherever you go, once a tiger, always a tiger. I'm Kay Felice, and I'm here for the Community Foundation today to present the Timothy Conley Baldwin Leadership Scholarship to Anton Borges. This scholarship is presented to an outstanding leader in every way in his community. You have certainly shown this between your Boy State experience and your Eagle Scout experience, your tremendous involvement in so many community activities. This was something that was very important to Tim. He was a graduate of UCSF and he was also an environmental science and safety major as well as being very involved in community activities. We know he would be thrilled to present this scholarship to you today. We wish you the best of luck and know you will be successful. I'm Kay Felice from the Community Foundation and I'm here today to present the Timothy Conley Baldwin STEAM Scholarship to Jaya Waller. Jaya truly embodies the qualities that Tim would be looking for in a candidate. Not only are you exceptional academically, but you're also exceptional in your athletics and you've shown great philanthropy, not only in our community, but outside of San Benito County. We are thrilled to be able to present this scholarship to you and know that you will be a catalyst for change that we will be proud of. We wish you the best of luck and congratulations in your future. Hello, Ms. Vandercook and I are pleased to announce the scholarship winner of a anonymous $2,000 renewable scholarship for someone that was an outstanding math student and is going to continue her career in math. And that is for Amelia Laura. Uh, we just want to say congratulations. We both enjoyed having you in class and we know that you're going to be a great math teacher one day. Great job, Amelia. Congratulations. Tonight, I would like to award the Tobias Collegiate Scholarship, and I am speaking on behalf of the Tobias family. Our parents, Quentin and Beverly Tobias, had 10 children who all graduated from Hollister High School. 
With their assistance, all of us were able to attend college and obtain our college degrees. Inspired by our parents' commitment and recognizing how important it is to have a college education, our family created this scholarship to financially support a Hollister High School senior pursuing their college education. This year, we are pleased to award two scholarships to two very deserving seniors, Samantha Logue and Olivia Madera. Congratulations. I'm Tanine Williams. Hi, I'm Crystal Lamonto. On behalf of our family and in memory of our brother, Tommy Martin, it is our honor to present the following scholarships in the amount of $1,000 to Anton Borges and Jaya Waller. We want to congratulate you. We know how difficult this year has been with the pandemic. You have both shown grit, determination, and we are extremely proud and excited to watch you in your next endeavor. So congratulations. congratulations. Tonight, I would like to award this year's Top Hatters Motorcycle Club Scholarship to two hardworking and deserving students that have given back to our community with years of involvement in donating their time and talents. This year's award goes to Colby Robinson and Sophia Lemos. Congratulations, girls, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Good afternoon. This is Alice Melholland, and I'm re representing the Nichols family for uh, the presentation of our first scholarship. Now, um, this is the very first year we are offering the William Burton Nichols Memorial Scholarship. A little bit about my brother. He was born William um, Burton Nichols. We always called him Willie. He attended San Benito High School from 1974 to 1978. He ran cross country, he played golf on the golf team, he greatly enjoyed um, all his science classes. He participated in the photography program, played in the band, ran the lighting and special effects and set construction for theater productions, and enjoyed photography, as well as the auto body and mechanics program. I just realized how busy he was in high school. Well, unfortunately, we lost him due to declining health in May of 2020. Our family decided um, to honor his memory by awarding this first scholarship to a San Benito High School graduating senior. Since Willie enjoyed any and all aspects of science, um, we wanted to award this scholarship to a student pursuing a career in science. Um, it will be a $1,000 scholarship. It is renewable each year of college for a total of four years. Um, the student just needs to maintain a 3.0 GPA um, to renew. Uh, this year's recipient, um, on behalf of the Nichols family, we are happy to award our very first William Burton Nichols Memorial Scholarship to Magali Del Rio. Uh, we were impressed um, with your accomplishments, uh, Magali, while on a difficult journey. Congratulations, Magali, on your graduation and on being accepted to Niagara University. Uh, we wish you well on your new endeavor to pursue your dream of being a nurse. May God bless you as you begin this new journey. And sincerely, the Nichols family. The William Madero's Junior Memorial Scholarship is honored to present this year's scholarship award to Julia Hicks. We are very proud of you, Julia, and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Colby, the Women's Club of Hollister is very proud to present you with this scholarship so that you can complete your college next year. We're gonna help you out. And um, we know you're going to do a wonderful job. Thank you. And here's your Women's Club pin, so you'll remember us. Here's your certificate. Thank you. And a rose for a lovely young lady who's going to do very well in the future. Thank you. And be sure and keep us informed of how well you're doing. I definitely will. Thank you. Caitlin, on behalf of the Women's Club of Hollister, I'm very proud to present you this scholarship to help you on your way in college. And we wish you every success. For you, we also have a flower just for a remembrance of today. And here's your pin from the Hollister Women's Club so that you can remember us. And do keep in touch and let us know how you're doing. Thank you guys. You're, you're welcome. welcome. You deserve it. Faith, on behalf of the Women's Club of Hollister, I'd like to present you with this scholarship to help you on your way to Stanford. Thank you, <laughs> I greatly appreciate it and it really means a lot. 
There you also have a flower for you, just as a remembrance of today. Thank you. And here is your Hollister Women's Club pin, so you'll remember us. <laughs> and keep in touch and let us know how you're doing. I definitely will. I'll keep you guys updated on that. everything that's going on every year. Good. Thank, Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Danae, on behalf of the Women's Club of Hollister, I'd like to present you with this scholarship to help you go into your um, chosen field. And good luck at Sacramento State. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We have a flower for you. <laughs> Thank you. And here is your Women's Club of Hollister pin so that you'll remember us. Thank you. Larry. You're very welcome. And we'd like you to keep in touch with us and tell us how you're doing. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Samantha, on behalf of the Women's Club of Hollister, I'd like to present you with this scholarship to help you on your way to college. Thank you. And very good, much good luck, and do let us know how you're doing. And we have a flower for you. And here is your Women's Club of Hollister pin so that you'll remember us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Congratulations. And good luck. Thank you. Zeta Epsilon Chapter of Delta Kappa Gamma for Women Educators is proud to present Caitlin Arredondo with $1,000 to be used in her college education. Caitlin has determination to improve her world and the world of those around her. Congratulations, Caitlin, and we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Good evening. On behalf of the Zuniga family, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2021 and thank you to all of the amazing students who applied to our scholarship this year. This year, the Zuniga family scholarship is awarded to Alejandro Cosio Ariano, Alexa Jimenez, Alyssa Monroy, Leslie Perez, and Max Ramirez Resendiz. Congratulations to all. I hope you have enjoyed tonight's presentation. Thank you all for joining us for the Class of 2021 Virtual Senior Awards Night. I would also like to thank all of the scholarship committees that sent in their video recordings, the counselors and staff at San Benito High School, and a very special thank you to Mr. Rob Campbell and Mr. Garrett Schlesinger for your assistance in the production of this event. Students, Make sure to check your email in the future week to receive instructions on how you will be able to claim your scholarships. I hope you all have had a wonderful evening. Good night.